Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Annette. And it's your boy, Stella. All right, we're here for our usual Thursday night where we do our carnival tips, tricks, advice, all that good stuff that only your auntie and your uncle can give you because y'all don't coin us the auntie and uncle oh, yeah. of YouTube. Yeah. And some of y'all are older than us. Right. <laughs> but we'll take it. We'll take it. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with a lot of the questions that I've been getting as a travel agent that's kind of been more consistent than anything else. So I know if people are bringing them to me, then they are heavily being circulated out there. Yeah. And I'm gonna give you the answers. The first thing is, what is the COVID requirements? Do you need your shots? Do you need any of that to go on a cruise? As of right now, just act like it doesn't exist anymore. Like the COVID restrictions have totally been relaxed except for in Grand Turk. They revisit that thing like almost every week but it hasn't been so bad that it's been causing any issues. What I mean by that is sometimes they'll say if you are not vaccinated, you can't get off in port, but I have not been given the, no, it's not really gonna happen. So take that with what you will. Yeah. It's, just, it's just the Grand Turk thing at the moment. Another thing, what documents do I need? Do I have to have a passport to cruise? The answer is no. But if you ask me, the answer should always be yes. And that is because yes, you can cruise with just your birth certificate and a government issued ID, but, 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 but things happen. Like we right. don't plan to go out and get in our car and have a wreck. Same as being on vacation. We don't plan to get out at sea, have a mishap and can't possibly sail back home the way that we started out. Right. There is a possibility that something could happen. We're on excursions, acting a fool, climbing mountains, going up mountains on, <laughs> you know, on boats and stuff. You can right. fall, hurt yourself, get in a little mishap. You may need to fly back home. But right. if you don't have a passport, it makes life so much more difficult because now you have to go through the embassy, do all of those things. So I will say, if that's what you need to do, travel with your birth certificate. But if this is something you want to continuously do, start working on getting that passport. Next thing we want to talk about is what is included in your cruise price. Now, we are good fans of Carnival. We are fans of Virgin for the same reason, but different. Virgin is very much an all-inclusive experience with an exception of just a few things. Carnival is basically like going to Roof Chris. You're buying everything <laughs> separately. So in your cruise price, what is blanketed in there is the cruise itself, your port fees, your taxes. That's basically it. What can you do on board for free? There are plenty of eateries to eat at oh, yeah, for plenty. free. You're never going to go hungry on a carnival cruise, but there are some upcharge restaurants it's like the specialty restaurants, yeah. the steakhouse, the Italian restaurant at night. You can do the Italian restaurant for lunch for free, but at night it is an upcharge. There's like shebang, different places like that. There will be an upcharge for that. Um, what is not included? Your excursions <laughs> yeah. are not included. They're not included anyway. <laughs> right. If you go to a resort right now, like all inclusives, y'all know that's my thing. If I go on a excursion, I gotta pay. Right. That's an additional cost. With Carnival, Wi-Fi is not included. And the number one question, do I need Wi-Fi? My question to you is, do you need to do www dot? If you are saying this, you need some kind of because <laughs> it's not included. You're, you do have essential, none, well, no. I, I was using Virgin's terms just then. You have basic drinks that you can get for free. Right. And let me explain. <laughs> the water that they serve you in the restaurants, tap, they say it's filtered, tap, tastes like tap water to me. You don't have to pay for that you'll have the juices that are in the machine. So usually in the morning they have a good um, guava passion juice. I like that. Yeah, it's real good. Um, lemonade, sweet tea, iced tea, uh, sweet tea, unsweetened tea. It's another one. Re put it down in the comments if y'all remember. That's included. But if you want soda, you have to pay. Right. You want alcohol, you have to pay. But also, if you're giving your stuff to the porters, 
don't be cheap and not buy good luggage tags. Yes, yes, yes. Because they manhandle the skit out mm -hmm. of your luggage just like they do at the airport. Get the ones. Matter of fact, we have a whole store listed on our website. Yeah, yeah. CodeFunTravel.com. Go to the Cruise Essentials page. We have luggage tags there that have the wire around them. So all you do is screw them on. They don't rip off. Yeah. Because if your skit gets ripped off, yeah. Mm -mm. yeah. Like I saw somebody literally taping their luggage tag around and I was like, baby, you might see your skit later on the night when they figure out who this belongs to. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the uh the next uh thing that we always get asked about, the Wi-Fi package. <laughs> yes. Uh should I buy the Wi-Fi package or is the Wi-Fi package worth it? What and I say already? The W W W. Yeah. <laughs> if you saying yes, I need to type W W W. Then you need. Yeah. It. So if you want to stay connected to the outside world, yes. And if you're not streaming, like doing like a YouTube live or something like that, the first two tiers is perfect for you. Yeah. Yeah. Most people, the most popular one is the social um, package. Yeah. That's the one in the middle. The one in the middle. Yup. This conversation right here will always leave us with a black eye because <laughs> for some reason people do not like to talk about gratuities now this is how i say it and this is how i do it i always tell people the best thing to do is go ahead and prepay your gratuities you are on vacation where people are catering to your every freaking need right every need and people are like well i just want to pay the people that i come in direct contact with this is my logic behind it. I've worked in corporate America for 23 years and my big bosses got bonuses every year for work that they, they didn't, didn't do. do. When you prepay your gratuities, it helps support the background people that are doing the work right along with the foreground people that you don't see. Right. So when you just pay the people that you come in contact with, it, it, uh, with, it leaves those people to be honest right. to split their you know their tips with the people that are helping them <clears throat> i say just let it run through the system let it do what it was intended to do and also if someone is a star employee or a rock star in your eyes tip them more yeah but then <clears throat> here's the second part of the prepaid or the gratuity conversation whether you prepay them or not if you don't they're going to charge them on your um account when you get like before you get off the ship anyway and it's more and it's more yep. and it's gonna cost you what your time because now you got to stand in the line yeah to get them to remove them yep or adjust them so that's why i said just go ahead yeah can't tell you what to do but do it but can't tell you what to do but also why you on that gratuities thing also um for a first time, I know you're gonna notice that when you go to the bar, anytime you buy a drink, the gratuities is already included in the drink, yeah. In the in the price of the drink. So they gonna still have that line on there for you to give an extra tip. Mm -hmm. So only give the extra tip, like like the queen said, if they going like above and beyond. And then here's another tip is that if you find a bartender that you like and they making you good drinks, tip them and they will keep coming back. Keep coming back to you. And, yeah. and I, I ain't talking about giving them a dollar or two dollars. I'm talking about looking out for them 10 or 20 dollars and lay that yeah. on. And you will have a round the clock um, bartender. Yeah, we legit did that in the casino and they were coming so fast, we were giving them away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, um, you guys have not asked the question, but we get this question about how does it work um, with the sign and sale card? Oh boy. Um, long and short, sign and sale card is basically, it's your access to get off and on the ship whether you in port or out of port also is to get access to your room and it's to make purchases while you're on the ship it's your lifeline yes and the next thing actually how should i fund it uh you can either fund it with a credit card you can either fund it with cash or your debit card but we recommend not do doing that. your debit card because they put mad holes on your account me and my barber was talking about that today. He said, he said, I made that mistake. Yeah. He said, I got back home and all them charging. He said, I was so goddamn frustrated with that. So yeah, don't, don't do your debit card. And you yeah. might ask, well, if I want to fund cash, how do I do that? Of course you can do that. 
through while you at home. You <laughs> right. have to do that when you when get you on board because they have kiosks for you to be able to do that. Yeah. So that's like the long and short of the uh, sign and sale. And then also we noticed that people get the cruise cash bar cash and sign and sale mixed up as well yeah so some people like i'm just gonna do sign and sale i'm just gonna do sign and sale sign and sale is just yeah. a blank card you have to fund it some kind of way right yeah. so cruise cash well bar cash is bar. You, it's just for the bar drinks uh cruise cash is for everything Erica. so yeah so that's the difference but we say but with those two, be careful when you buy those. Make sure that whatever money you put on it to, You're that you plan on it. using all of it. Because if you don't use it, yeah, you will it. lose it. So that's why we recommend if you want to prepay everything, just put the cash on your sign and sale card. So if you don't end up spending it all, you can get your money back. Yeah, I was going to say, because some people say, they just going to keep my money. No, go to guest services, cash it out. Or you can... If you're savvy enough, I don't yeah. like to tell people this because then they ask more questions and I'm like, who I open up a can of worms. <laughs> you can do it at the casino as well. Uh, do you get carnival insurance or outside insurance? <clears throat> For me now, listen at me, <laughs> good. <laughs> because we travel often, we have an annual plan that we pay for. So we just pay the amount of money that it costs mm -hmm. to cover us for 12 consecutive months right. for all of the trips that we're going on so that we don't put insurance on your flight, put insurance on your cruise, put insurance on your all-inclusive. We just pay for the annual for the year. Yeah. Um, but when we were doing it, I would just do it through the cruise line because for one, it's easier. And yeah. especially if you're not a person that wants to go line by line looking at <clears throat> what the coverage amounts are. Right. You know, it's just easier to do it through the cruise line, but you definitely have the option of going somewhere else and securing it. Right. You definitely do. <clears throat> and then also to check your, um, if you have a credit card, because some credit cards have vacation protection on it, mm -hmm. but read it carefully. Read it carefully. To make sure, um, if you're not sure, the best thing with insurance, if you need to call them to find out um, what it covers, ask them what it does not cover, because they will list a whole bunch of stuff that it covers. And it might be two or three things that you really need to be covered, like cancellation, yeah. and it's not on there. Yeah, and oh, that, while you said that, it was good that you brought that up that credit card also has to be the credit card that you paid yes for the cruise on right you can't just have a card and be like i want to use the benefit well, where, well where's the charge where's the charge because <laughs> that's what they're gonna look for yeah. um also um want to bring up this mistake and we always bring up that people go to elegant night then go take the pictures and then go <laughs> look at the pictures on the wall and all of them look good yep and now you're trying to decide which ones i want to take home and by the all time they add them up is three, four, five, six hundred dollars. Then you come back home, you be like, "Why in the hell did I spend all that money mm -hmm. on that package?" And now but, the picture hits the wall. But however, Carnival does have um, portrait packages that you can buy, and they have one in particular that's nine hundred ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents, and that includes five pictures. Did you say nine hundred ninety-nine dollars? No, you, you, you ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Yeah, Can yeah, not a thousand dollars. It's time to get off here. <laughs> Yeah, a hundred it costs a hundred dollars, and you get five eight by ten pictures that you get to pick pick out all the pictures that they take of you. Mm -hmm. I recommend doing that, so that way you on your budget, and you don't have to worry about overspending, and you got yourself five pictures. Yeah. Shameless plug we brought up last week. We still got that group cruise out there, so if you've been dying to travel with us, mm -hmm. uh, we are going on the Count of Magic in uh, September into October. So all that information is. Down in the description, it's called Carnival Cruise, Carnival Magic 2023, the group cruise. You can click yeah. that and find out all the information about that. And how important is the cruise directors? Very. Yeah. Especially when it comes down to carnival ships, in my opinion. Yeah. I feel yeah. like I feel like they can make or break a cruise. Uh -huh. That's why I miss Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> now some people will say, I've never even paid my cruise director any mind because they didn't they because they sucked. <laughs> like you know when there's a good cruise director on the ship. Like we've now for us, we're the kind of people that it's not gonna break our trip because right. we just gonna have fun regardless. Regardless, right. But on my birthday cruise we had Felipe. I don't mean put him out there like that. <laughs> but he sucked. Um he didn't do anything. He didn't do any interacting like he like sail away he legit came up did a little one two and the next thing we know he was gone yeah we was like massive with a t 
What two? Is it Matthew with two Ma T's? Matthew with one T. Matthews with one T. He was the crew he, director. He, he was based with the crew director. I mean, because he was the one um, doing the adult show. Yeah, he did an amazing job. Like legit. I was like, Matthew with one T needs to be the first director. All right, Wanda said, "What's a good brand that's good for a waterproof fanny pack?" Actually, go to our yeah. website. Um, coldfuntravel.com and then go to the cruise essentials and the one that you see on there that one is really good that's the, the one, one i got yep that's the one um we take every time we go. it's triple secure like yeah it has zip 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 and then you take it and you fold it down like a blunt i mean like, <laughs> and then you velcro it so Ooh. if anything get through there yeah 